Pixis Drones, we fly giant drone light shows in the sky, hundreds of drones at a time, and we use them to tell stories. There's nothing like it in the world when you see hundreds of drones take off into the sky and to tell the types of stories that we're able to bring to life. Today is an amazing opportunity. We're flying at Licensing Expo here in Las Vegas, and we're working with seven different brand partners to combine them all to celebrate the ways that brands can leverage new technology and new opportunities to grow their footprint, generate revenue, all those types of things. We put a lot of energy into our creative process. I think it's the single thing that most differentiates us from anybody else in this industry. We have two creative leads and their focus is on how we not just put a logo up in the sky, but to tell a cohesive story that connects to people who are on the ground. I think what makes us special from the competitors is basically our creative, which is amazing. We make the wow uh, effect on the crowd and also safety. We take safety really, really seriously. If we don't have safety, we don't have creative. It normally takes for us to set up about two, eight hours. For us, we get here and we laid out 500 drone show with a specific separation in between drones for obvious purposes. When we take off, we don't want them to crash. After everything is set up, we sit down in the computer and we program to make sure that everything is good. Each drone is actually deceptively simple. They're single purpose drones. They only exist for the purpose of doing drone light shows. And they have light modules in the base of them that are roughly the equivalent of three and a half car headlamps. So it creates a huge footprint that makes these shows visible for miles in the sky around them. Each drone receives a path file, which tells it these are the 10 points in the sky that I'm supposed to fly to, the colors I'm supposed to change into. So a lot of the energy that goes into programming and creating the shows is to make sure that the path files are syncing up with the creative vision that we're bringing to life in the sky. The relationship between the control station and the drones is basically based on GPS. That's why we have real-time knowledge of where the drones are moving all the time. It's basically receiving signals from all the satellites up in the air. The hover test is we take the drones up into 1.5 meters, about 15 feet, uh, to make sure that they're hovering during a minute and make sure that they're actually flying stable. If we find out that we have any issue during that hover test, we take the drone down, we fix the problem, we work through it, and we hover again. So we make sure that all our drones are stable and we're gonna have a perfect show in the night. Safety, again, as I said before, all is towards the safety. Yes. My job when we do a hover test is usually to be out on the grid and making sure that we can see all of the drones and I will relay information via our headsets to our head pilot in case anything's going wrong so he knows what to do and can mitigate the issues. We all have to be very um, good at communicating with each other for first off the safety perspective. Time management is very critical for these shows if we have issues, how much time we need to put as a buffer to make sure that we can mitigate those issues. So it's absolutely critical from safety and time perspective. I think the stress is always going to be there because uh, no matter what, if you fly 100 on show or 500, if you care about your, your job and, and the safetyness of it, you have eight minutes and 20 seconds that are very stressful. I think the most beautiful moment of the show is when it's up and you can hear and it's from a distance most of the times, but when you can hear the crowd cheering and you know that like you have done something that they adore. I've been there. The first show I ever saw was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And now I get to create that experience for other people. I think there's a childlike sense of glee that happens from so many of these shows. I'm personally, I'm an example of it. I saw the NBA logo. 30 stories tall in Liberty State Park, the Statue of Liberty in the background. And I made a decision in that moment to throw away a career in law where I'd worked for nearly 15 years to chase this because of what I felt the first time I saw a drone light show. So we want to create a connection with the people on the ground who are seeing these drones going up in the air. Quite frankly, they're doing magic in the sky, telling a story that connects with people, that brings to life the things that they love, the things that they care about.